Yes, yes, boys, welcome back to another Dark and Battle video. Kizan here, and in this video today, my guys, there has been a new announcement on the JP side for the new Gogeta on the way. Gonna be an LR Gogeta, most likely, looking at the art. And you know what? Here I am going to be talking about some predictions that I think they will be like. So uh, again, if you do like anything like this, like uh, any prediction videos, darkened videos in general, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. But anyways, let's get straight into the details. So finally, we're getting another Gogeta from the Super Janemba movie, I do think. And, you know, it's about time. And one thing I will say is we can get some information because this guy is going to be the exact upgrade that uh, this guy was compared to this unit. Now, as you can see, these guys are from the exact same scenario. Um, but of course, the difference is one is 2018 and one is 2020. The difference is good between this one being 2018 and this new one being 2021. So what can we actually see from this thing? Well, the first thing is going to be they will share the exact same category. So with that being said, we already know which categories this new unit will be landing on. And as you can see, there's, there's some pretty nice categories. I, I'm not going to lie. So... Uh, the difference between this uh, Patara one is you get stuff like Connected Hope, Power of Revival, stuff like that. I don't think it, this guy's on either of those. No, he is not. So, you get some okay teams for this guy. And now, of course, when they did the change from Int Vegito to Strength Vegito, the transformation requirements became astronomically easier. I mean, it's gone from what? You needed six turns under 50% HP? Yeah to then uh, pretty much it became four turns from 77% HP or less like that is just too yeah, too good now honestly that is too good so of course that is what they are going to do now the main thing is what is the leader skill going to be now let's go on to this because when this guy got his uh, you know change from this into this he was kind of the mainstay of the whole saga, right? You know, because you know, he is the Majin Buu Saga leader. He is the best Majin Buu Saga leader we do have currently. And that got me thinking. So when we do get this new Gogeta, the first thing I do think we will get is a new movie hero leader. Movie hero leader, yes. Because first of all, the, the only proper leader we do have for the category is this unit right here which of course isn't a bad thing you know it's a pretty good unit pretty solid but the main problem is is that even though he is really good right he is showing his age a little bit he is showing his age i mean like even when you transform to super saiyan blue you're sitting on like what 70 80k defense you know these days that just is not good enough that just is not good enough so Honestly, I can see us getting movie heroes easily. Movies have been a big part of what they've been doing, so getting a new movie hero with maybe a movie boss as part two, you never know, you never know, as a leader. But with it being said, I mean, movie heroes have just had so much good stuff in the, like, in the past few months. Uh, just going over a few in the past few months, Tapion, Goku Piccolo, I think this guy still counts about six months ago, uh, the LR Tech, uh, you know, just so much movie stuff and getting a new Gogeta, I mean, because it will share a different name than this guy, right? Or sorry, than this guy. So this guy should be getting his perfect linking partner within this unit, right? Or near enough perfect, which again, that's going to be pretty nice, you know, that's good coming already into Dokken with a linking partner, like, you can't ask for more than that, right? All you need is a good team, a good linking partner, and you're off to go. Now, the next thing I will talk about is, that can't just be it, there can't just be a fusion, I mean, not fusion, but uh, a movie hero category unit. 
So what could Elf get a uh, leader skill? Now I think it's going to be out of two different things, if I'm going to be being completely honest. Let me get rid of these. I honestly think it's either going to be Otherworld Warriors or it's going to be Fusion. Now Otherworld Warriors, even though they do have two kind of leaders, even though Freezer is 150% only, is because there would be a way of getting most of these units onto a better side of a team because like most of these are movie heroes anyway so it would be a bit of overlap i do understand but i honestly i think that's what they will probably do since most people don't run other world warriors but the more likely one will probably be a fusion leader because uh, you know, it has been quite a while since we've had a 170% fusion lead. This guy was the last 100. Basically, I've just taken the exact two things from here and trying to put it onto the other guy. Now, of course, that is not definite. We don't know if we are going to get movie heroes. I mean, we can get any of these categories, really. Join forces? I don't think so. I don't think they would give this unit the join forces uh, buff, essentially. Like, you know, the join forces leader skill, because join forces at the moment is in a weird state. I feel like this is going to be more a movie represented one than focusing on running joint forces in its entirety. So I would say probably not going to be a joint forces leader at all. Uh, but yeah, honestly, Fusions is an option. Otherworld Warriors is an option. Super Saints is also a really big option. As you can see, they have one main leader. It is the Namek Goku, quite iconic. But yeah, that's only one unit. Like, so, there is a chance of us getting a Super Saiyan leader also, and you don't need me to talk about Super Saiyans, because look at the roster. The roster is so strong, it's unreal. So, if it was this, you know, people would be pretty happy. Pretty, like, really happy. But, yeah, so, going over that. Now, what are we going to go on about what he can do? You know, have I got any predictions for that? Well, kind of have. Kind of have. Now... Just like how this guy gets key plus two per rainbow key sphere, this guy gets an additional key per any key sphere. So I think this guy will this guy will have the exact same style of where you will gain extra key just by hitting normal key spheres. I think that's the way they want to do these evolved units, as you could say, from the past 2018. And then since uh, like just another example. This, uh, as all Vegito's counter, or majority of Vegito's counter, that is a true thing. Uh, this means the new Gogeta will have super effective damage once transformed. I mean, I don't think that, other than like the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I think nearly every other Gogeta has super effective damage. So, they would not stop the trend here, I imagine. So, super effective damage on the way, and as you know... Any unit with super effective damage is usually always broken. Or well, not broken, but they're always doing silly amounts of damage. Let's be honest, silly amounts of damage. Uh, so we're going to get this unit, but like better leader skill, better super attack, better passive, of course, better fusion conditions. It's going to be some good stuff. It's going to be some good stuff because you guys know I am Team Vegito, but I used to be Team Gogeta when it was... You know, when I first ever saw the Fusion Reborn movie, and like it's one of my favorite moments of Dragon Ball history, actually. The first time they go Gogeta. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Let me know what you think about these units. What do you think the leader skill is going to be? That's going to be the main focus. Comment down below what you think the leader skill is going to be. And that is going to be it for the video. If you have your own ideas, of course, let me know. And I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Kizan bouncing out. I will see you on the next Dokken video in a bit, guys, and have a good one.